All right, so <clears throat> I got my first iPhone 4S in for replacement today, and I, I tried to do some research to find out if it's the same part, um, the LCD glass and um, digitizer component, um, to find out if it's the same part for the 4G, or I'm sorry, the 4S that is as, as it is the 4. And I don't really was unable to find any answers on that online, so I told this guy that I'm just going to go ahead and you know take this one apart and try to find out if it is the same piece. Um, if it is the same piece, um, I have two here I can use. Now they are black, but he's all right with that. He doesn't care if it's black on the front. He actually thinks it'd be kind of cool to have black on the front and white on the back and make it kind of unique. Um, the only question is, I've got one piece here that is a Verizon, and I've got the other piece here that is AT&T. Now his is AT&T, but I don't know if the AT&T 4S version has the same brackets as these, so that's what I'm here to find out today. Alright, so taking the iPhone 4S apart, um, assuming that it comes apart just like the um, just like the 4, so I'm going to try to put this right here. Alright, and yeah, that's not bad. Alright, I've already taken the two screws out, so I'm going to now pop the back cover. happened there um, okay the first thing we're gonna do is shut his phone off that would be good right and since this is the AT&T version we are also going to pop the SIM card if I can find okay. SIM card is located on the side and we can just punch that in there with a paper clip or a SIM removal tool and pull the SIM card right on out. All right, so we got the back off and I was thinking I was going to need to take this all the way apart to, to check these brackets, but I don't think I will because I can see one there, one there, one there, three down the side. So I should be able to match these up. Let's see, what do we think? It's very close on that side. That looks right to me. And it is not the same on this side. We've got a bracket here, and on this one, the bracket is up a little higher. But the top and the bottom do look the same. Okay. So that, I'm sure that was the AT&T version, but let's, let's check this other one out just to make sure that I didn't have those mixed up. This should be the Verizon one. Now you can see right away, this one, the middle bracket on this one is lower. And that's the way it usually is on the Verizon versus the AT&T. So looking at the other side, and it's funny. You now, that one's off. That one's actually right. That was the one that was, and that one's a little bit off. Okay, so that is definitely not the right piece. Now, wondering, since this works on this side, and I've got three... Three, piece, three contacts to tighten this thing down plus the corners and on this side I'd have two two contacts to tighten it down would it be a really good idea to remove that bracket and see if I can get this one in there anyway and I think I'm gonna try it I think I am why not it's the first 4s I've had in I want to see what it I want to see what it's it it looks about the same as the four on the inside it does have Siri which I have not got to play with yet, and I won't play with it because it's not my phone, but I do want to someday. I wonder if I, wonder if I could ask him if I could play with Siri a little bit. Ask her some silly questions. See what she says. Maybe I'll think about that. All right, so we're going to keep our screws nice and organized up here on the top. You can't see that, but this is the way to keep them organized so that you know where everything is. All right, and then we pop the... Um, the battery connector, just like we do on the four. I've done this a hundred times, but this this is different. It does definitely look different. Okay. 
the battery connector is different and then that bracket is definitely a lot different as well let's see if the battery comes out the same way I'm sure that it does alright I've got somebody coming in so I gotta pause this video